Today, we're talking about quasar science lights and how to power them when you don't have power. Oh, I think that time it might have broken in half. We love the Quasar Science Q50R because they're naturally soft. You can fit them into tight spaces where you might not necessarily be able to fit diffusion or frames, and then you can change the color temperature and the color directly on the unit, so no more hauling gels around. At Threefold, we're a creative agency, so let's get more creative with these. In order to do that, we're gonna have to cut the cord and go with batteries. Now, Quasar Science makes some really great batteries of their own, but they might be out of some people's price range. In front of me, I have two alternative batteries that you can buy on your own on Amazon. This one we had lying around the studio that outputs 20 volts, and this is a 12 volt battery. You can find a link in the description that we bought for about 50 to $60 on Amazon. As long as your battery can output 12 volts at at least four amps, you can power your light no problem. Speaking of batteries, you know what else has one? Your car. You can power your light using one of these 12 volt car adapters. I had one lying in the back, maybe you do too, but if you don't, check the link in the description. And last but not least, there's a chance you have one of these lying around. If you have a battery with DTAP on it, you can get a DTAP to DC cable to power your lights. What are your go-to methods? Let us know in the comments below. With that, we're off. Hit that subscribe button if you're interested in watching more and expect more content about our creative process, behind the scene breakdowns, and production tips in the future. I'm Adam from Threefold, thanks for watching.